Hi everyone, my name is Rayson and I am the host of this Vagacy show. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, my bad, just now there was some network error. Okay, uh, <laughs> yeah, my bad, my bad. Okay, so anyway, alright, today is part of this three part series of the relationship dating series. So, whereby I get uh, people like our dear friend here Val, okay, all right, we get coaches uh, in terms of dating relationship coaches or even experts to actually share about their insight, their advices on dating and relationship, all right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, uh, today I, it's really my honor and pleasure to have this superstar over here. His oh name is Val Sennon. He is the owner of The Finest Man and also a, a dating relationship expert uh, in Singapore as well. And he's rising star. He is going up, 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 up to other parts of Asia as well. Okay, and without ado, let's welcome Val Sennon. Oh, thank you very much, Rayson. <laughs> much appreciated. Hey, you're most welcome, man. Hey, hey, uh, Larry hey is Larry. watching. What's yeah, up, yeah, bro? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> guys, so right. this is how life works. Cool. Yeah, this is how life works. Nice. Uh, you get. Um, okay, so basically, um, what I want you to actually uh, talk about is about yourself as well. Yeah. So, do you mind if you share with the audience who do not know who the heck you are? Okay, more about yourself. Okay, so uh, well, uh, Rayson has introduced my my name and what I do. So basically. I'm sure you want to know why I started doing what I was doing. I'm mm -hmm. to say that. So, you see, I have a very strong affinity towards nice guys because I believe that nice guys are the underdogs, and I've always been on the team mm -hmm. of um, the underdogs. Like I've always wanted to help the underdogs succeed because yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, deep down inside, I know that these people have so much to offer, but they're just being overshadowed by those who are a lot more maybe alpha or those who are a lot more um, mm -hmm. fortunate. Yeah. You see, it's like from my background, I mean, I came from a very rough uh, childhood because uh, I lost my mom at a very young age. You can see that in the descriptions. Yep. Um, you know, uh, fought my way through depression. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, okay, yes, <laughs> it's a bit gay, but all right. <laughs> I, I didn't push <laughs> kiss or something, right? Let's not go there. <laughs> all right. All right. No, no, no so. <laughs> See, no, no, where, where was I? Yes, okay. So okay. I fought my way uh, through depression, and um, basically here I am today because uh, I realized that you know. Um, all of those experiences have actually taught me um, how to be resilient, how to give, uh, and it's given me a certain kind of edge mm -hmm. to go forward in life and to really uh, bring value in the lives of others. And you know, I go by the personal mantra of always leaving them better than when I first met them. So, uh -huh. yeah, no matter what I do, you know, mm -hmm. with uh, my work and the finest man and whatever I do outside, I always aim and strive to leave them better than when I first met them. So, mm -hmm. what do I exactly do in the finest man? Well, um, I help nice guys to find a long-term girlfriend whom they can have a deep connection with mm -hmm. and just be themselves around. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, being authentic towards the girl that you like or the woman of your life is the most important thing. Am I right to say that? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, because this is what every girl wants. They, <coughs> as much as they want Prince Charming, as much as they want Shrek, maybe. Okay, uh, well, Shrek. Princess Fiona, <laughs> okay, okay, so yeah, as much as they want all this, all right, they also want the guy to be super authentic to them. They do not love guys who tell them lies, who cheat on them. Mm. As much as they do not like guys, also do not like this, uh, these things as well, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. who likes games, right? Yeah, I know. So, as much as you know, as much as we know what you're doing right now, mm. okay, uh, because you know that hey, we have this. Um, this this uh, caption that was saying about all those questions that we would like to yeah, sure. like you to answer, right? Okay, so before I'm we watch it now. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so before we actually um, uh, go uh, deeper into all this, sure. okay, so just want to check with you, right? What is the finest man mm. all about? Like, like I mean, like uh, being finest. Okay, does it mean that they are gentlemen, they are ah. alpha, those kind of um, characteristics, yeah. or, or what? See, it's interesting that you mentioned that because um, mm -hmm. I got the name actually, the finest man, right, mm -hmm. from my coach. Uh, uh, her name is Elise, Elise N. Uh -huh. You might know who she is. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yes, uh, if she's watching it, or if anybody else is watching it, say mm -hmm. hi to her for me. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> so <clears throat> um, 
because the idea behind the Financeman was to actually you see it started with being a complete guy right complete guy it, it just, just, just being the best that you can mm-hmm. be for mm-hmm. not only yourself but the people around you because it reflected my values of always wanting to leave them better than when I first met them okay. so in order to do that you mm-hmm. have to be your best self uh-huh. right then I realized, all right, that's too common. Everybody out there is talking, oh, yeah, no, you know, go out there, be your best self, be this, be that. But they don't really take it up a notch. So I said, mm-hmm. why not we go deeper? And you know, that's where she came up with the name. How about you call your company the finest man? And the idea behind being the finest man is really being the finest version of yourself and mm-hmm. not um, employing like gimmicks, tricks, or lines to attract women, but to do it authentically, to do it based on your own strengths, your own personality. So, yep. you see, it's not easy for people these days to be real, mm-hmm. you know? Being real is scary. Trust me, man, like, uh, when, I'm <laughs> out, <laughs> when I'm out there and people ask me to be real, uh, I'm afraid sometimes, but you know, I push myself to do it because when you are real, what happens is that you have to um, acknowledge your fear, yep. your weaknesses. You gotta yep. be okay with that, man. You gotta be like, yeah, you know, I suck at this. You gotta be okay with that. You can't push it under the rug, you kind of like shove it aside and say, you know what, I'm just going to ignore this, I'm just going to highlight my strengths. Everybody says highlight your strengths, but nobody talks about mm-hmm. acknowledging your weaknesses mm-hmm. and then working on them. And yep. see, being the finest man is all about being vulnerable at the same time, being yeah. okay to, True. yeah, going be, being okay to go out there and be yourself so that yeah. people can see that side of you because so many people out there nowadays, I believe, they put a facade in front of themselves and mm-hmm. what happens to the real person? What, what Where is this sense of... Uh, Authenticity, mm-hmm. it's gone. So, my mission is to bring that out. It's scary, you see. It's scary for people to bring it out, and that's why yeah, I'm yeah. here to guide them in terms of how to bring it out properly, especially the nice mm-hmm. guys, because everyone is doing the same thing out there. Yeah, right? women are like same lines, same lines, <laughs> uh, same platforms. You know, how are you gonna stand out? Yeah, you want to be original. You gotta be yourself. Yeah, you, same lines. They use the same props. Maybe mm-hmm. the. Flowers, bouquet of flowers, hey, diamond ring. And Levine all this. is watching. What's up, Levine? Hey, man, it's been a long time. I've met Too you. long, bro. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so where were we? Okay, so yep. they use the same lines, uh, pickup lines, and all those whatever lines, mm. can lines, you know, and then they use the uh, all these uh, gimmicks and tricks, yep. you know, and to make them look so dashing, so cool. <laughs> but uh, but when, when it comes to reality, when they want to do that, yeah. they'll start to get anxious as well. <laughs> because and, because yeah. it's not them. Oh yeah, yeah and talking about anxiety, yeah. later on, uh, most prop, uh, mm. maybe on Thursday or something. What's up, Levine? Yeah, so when, when, when the time comes, right, you get to watch a video that's done by, by two of us. Uh, yeah. Friday, Friday. Friday, Friday. Yeah. Friday. Okay, so yeah, you got get to understand what, what is anxiety all about and also how you can overcome anxiety with just these three simple steps that I came up with. So yeah, do check it out as well. Mm. Uh, okay, so yeah, I mean, all these people, you know, they have all these kind of uh, gimmicks and tricks, you know, yeah. o- opening lines, closing lines, whatever lines, you know, uh, and, and it make them feel like, wow, you know, it make them feel like, wow, they, they, they accomplished something, you know, they, they have said the same line, like last time to different, many different girls, and then some worked, some didn't work, uh, and then they, they were taught, you know, to, to actually be more alpha, uh, hmm. To be more about uh, you know all those kind of like stuff and your chest and walk yeah and then, and then and then once they become you know all those um, characteristics that are meant to be uh, players playboys kind of stuff and then they realize that hey shit they lost themselves yeah that's what I went through like yeah I, I mean likewise man yeah yeah I mean okay I, I'm not a hundred percent player player playboy playboy but so you're the pirate version <laughs> oh well from uh, Malaysia oops uh, no, no offense, no offense. No, no, I'm not, I'm not from Malaysia, bro. <laughs> <Kidding. laughs> okay, so I, I'm okay. So I, I, I realize that, man, um, all this, all this stuff, you know, make make the person uh, um, feel even more different, uh, and mm. especially when they they go out with different girls, and then they they are like using can lines, uh, whatever kind of makes uh, them fake, yeah. Yeah, it makes them feel fake, and fake. then after that, when they go back home, they are back to their the their self again, and and they will think they are trying out to to use the different lines to, to make make sure that you know things are, are going smoothly. And then when 
shit comes in, you know, the girl started to realize that this guy is faking it, yeah. uh, and 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 she doesn't want him anymore, and then he start to break down, and he he's no longer that macho macho. He start to uh, his true self comes out. Right? Yeah, his true self comes out, and then he start to bleed the girl, and he becomes <coughs> he becomes more beta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it, it makes it makes it makes sense, like you know, to be more authentic, which what Val is teaching. Mm. And I'm grateful that he has taught me some stuff back then that made me more yes. real, more a, authentic. A yeah. little bit. A little, a little bit. bit, a little <laughs> okay. bit. Of course, I, I didn't like go and manipulate the girl say, hey, I am authentic, man. You must love me. No, no, no. Uh, that's freaky, right? That's it. Your <laughs> secret is out, bro. Everyone knows it now. No, no, I don't do that. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So, yeah, I mean, this, this is... This is what uh, I love about finest men as well, oh, and I'm, I'm thankful that you know I, I'm part of it in a sense. Mm. Yep, and also one thing like um, you know, so much about finest person. Now, what what mm. is nice guy? Uh, are they like uh, those guys that dress black top, black pants, and then black shoe? Uh, always stay at home and then <laughs> always hang out with friends that 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 uh, yeah. that reads a lot and then uh, worms or maybe watch anime <laughs> or maybe love soccer and then yeah. every time we talk about soccer they're like oh, oh, oh. and then we talk about girls uh, they want to go out with a girl and then uh, and then they're like uh, oh shit I'm, I'm scared man I don't yeah, dare yeah, to yeah, do yeah. that you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so so I mean um, are they are they considered as nice guys well to me I mean mm -hmm. the way I see my clients uh, mm -hmm. since I deal a lot with nice guys and I can mm -hmm. resonate with nice guys a lot mm -hmm. these guys are you know guys with good intentions yep Right, they're good intentions. Uh, they have good intentions. The only issue here is that they find it very difficult to speak from here, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. is from the heart. They find yep. it very difficult to say what's inside here. They find it tough to tell a girl how they truly feel because they are afraid okay. that they might, you know, kind of uh, cause what you call that um, the status quo to go. Uh -huh. Uh, to fluctuate. Top -tubby. Top -tubby. Oh, they're, okay. they're, they're afraid to rock the boat basically because they're afraid uh -huh. that if they are being themselves, if they mm -hmm. speak from the heart, mm -hmm. uh, their potential date might just reject them, walk uh -huh. away and they'll never see her again. And for them, mm. you know, like finding a girl is so difficult already. Yep. So it's really like, oh my gosh, she's walking away, how am I going to find a new one? So, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, um, that's, that's what many guys are facing. Or oh, I, I should say, even girls are facing that as well sometimes. Right? True, true, yeah. yeah, it, yeah. It's a two-way thing. And, uh, yeah. Like, guys, for, for nice guys, right, they like to put people before themselves. Mm. All the time, they all, they, mm. they they have this self self um, sacrificing kind of um, <clears throat> mentality. Something like Optimus mm. Optimus Prime. If you guys follow Transformers, uh -huh. so um, they like to put others before themselves first. Yep. Which means that they always are people pleasers because they want people to be happy. Everybody can be happy, mm -hmm. even if they have to sacrifice their own happiness. They would say, you know what, I'll do it for the greater good. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. And the reason why I know this so well is because I was one of those guys. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was seated here today. <laughs> yep. And educating you guys about the difference between nice guy and the finest man. Exactly. And also at the same time, how you can become the finest. Uh, not all secrets will be leaked, but some secrets will be leaked. Mm. And then after that, you guys have to look for him for more. Secrets? There are secrets? Yeah, there, I mean like... Ah, okay. I get what you mean, yes. Yeah. Okay. Secrets. Secrets. <laughs> yeah. All right, so yeah, I mean, wow. So that's that's what nice guys are. Huh? Yeah. Uh, okay. So what about um, those playboys and jerks? You know, um, uh -huh. that that gets to go so easily, right? Okay. Yeah. How 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 how? I mean, like, is it? Um, uh, how how do we differentiate between them? Like, you know. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, it's just how they treat women. Mm -hmm. uh, look, now uh, I'm not going to be somebody who judges people because everyone yep. has a choice. Mm -hmm. Now these guys obviously have made their choice yep. and um, they've made their choice and they followed, <clears throat> they followed through, therefore you know, they are acting the way they are. Yep. And um, sad to say, these guys are the ones who always cause a lot of hurt, <clears throat> a lot mm -hmm. of heartbreak and you know, yeah. emotional trauma. Is what they're doing wrong. Okay. That's not for debate. In, in a sense, yes, I yes, mean, yes, yes. <clears throat> you can't really say it's wrong, wrong, because at the end of the day, it's a choice. We gotta yep. be fair here, because some of them, see, there is a debate going uh, mm -hmm. um, around online saying that nice guys are not really good men, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. nice guys are manipulators. They will try to be nice in order to get something from you. Mm -hmm. What about bad boys? They will also manipulate as well. They will True. manipulate more. Correct. I mean, can you imagine 
your own daughter. Mm. Okay? For example, you have a daughter who is 20 plus and then she is dating a guy um, who is n a known playboy, for example, yeah. right? And then when, when she's out with a guy and then the guy is happily cheating on her and all, as a parent, for example, right? Mm. Hey, do you think you will like that? No, of course of not. Of course not, right? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, yeah, I mean, <coughs> the whole world is uh, is full of playboys, nice guys, and whatever, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's it's not so much about yeah, um, um, being with the bad boy. Uh, doesn't mean uh, being with a nice guy doesn't mean it will have a good ending. Because I've mm. seen so many married couples like Bill Gates. He's a nice guy. He's yeah. not a playboy. Uh, if you look at uh, if you look at Gurmit Singh, for example, in in Singapore, he mm. is uh, a nice guy. You look at Chu Cho Ming. He's a nice guy. Yeah. You look at uh, people like you yourself. You are also a nice guy, mm. right? And if you look at even people like uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, <laughs> uh -huh, he is not a He's not 100% playboy, playboy, yeah, yeah. but he's a nice guy as he's well. Nice he he loves to give people things. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, he. So I mean, in in life, it, it it's all about who we want to be with, mm. because as much as we uh, are attached to that heartbreak at times, right? Mm -hmm. Some girls they are so emotionally connected with all these heartbreaks that they kept going on with uh, the same type of guys mm. and they always get hurt and the nice guys are all, who likes this girl, this kind of girl or, or this particular girl is always there helping her, motivating her, supporting her and then and then this girl doesn't know that uh, or maybe she knows but she doesn't want to be with that, that guy okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so I mean there, there's so many of these cases around True. Yeah. Mm. so it's, it's not just happening in Singapore, it's happening all over the world Right? I think it's a, it's a global thing because you know it's global relationships are uh, part yeah, of part and parcel of life of, right? of, of human life. You see, yeah. but, um, <laughs> uh, and at the end of the day, it really comes down to choices. Yes, who you want to be and you know how mm -hmm. you want to treat those around you. So mm -hmm. it really is personal responsibility if you think about it. Yeah, and I noticed that there's so many guys that are watching right now. Okay, um, you have yeah yeah there are. Uh, if you scroll down. Okay, there's oh, so right, many, okay, there and, and there are also girls as well. Yeah. Okay, they are watching. They are be they are married or they are uh, in a relationship mm. as well, or they're just single. You know, they just I believe they just want to know more about dating as well, right? So hey, you know what? Um, do you have some? Do you mind sharing some uh, tips for those guys, uh, especially those that are watching right now? <coughs> like um, how can they, you know, get grab hold of the the girl's heart? Mm. Uh, or, or I mean, you know, get the girl that they they really like. Yeah. Uh, that, to date, be it they are uh, physically handicapped, for example, or, or be it they are mm. they are just like of a bit tinge bit of confidence in themselves, or yeah. or they are you know um, very confident and sure. yet they still can't get an A with <coughs> the girl that he really really likes. Mm, mm. Uh huh. And always get friend zone after that. How? What? What? What are the tips for them? Well, okay, I'll, I'll break it down to like four different tiers. So four speak. different tiers. Four different tiers. Wow. Okay? The, the, okay. the very first tier is, uh -huh. um, I always like to uh, tell my clients they have to get a lot of clarity first. Clarity. Yes. Okay. So you gotta be clear at the start. You see, it's like you gotta know uh, who you are. Uh -huh. Okay. You gotta know your strengths and your weaknesses and where yep. you're at in life at this point of time. So yeah, yeah. if you're at a certain level and you mm -hmm. want to get to that next level, you need to uh, clearly chart it out. Because when you can see that, mm -hmm. right, you would know what to do next. The uh -huh. problem that I see that all these nice guys out there, they, they like to follow the crowd. So you know when when they, they when when they uh, what do you call it? They go through hard um, heartaches. Their heart gets broken. They get mm -hmm. rejected. The first thing they they turn to, of course, is Google in terms of you know getting solutions. And the solutions <laughs> lead them down a path where you know yep. they try to learn to be what we call pickup artists. Wow, now, PUA. I, yes. Now, I'm not saying that these guys are doing something really horrible. Hey, I mean, I, I learned from them a long time ago, and mm -hmm. that's where I got Likewise. my confidence, and you know, that's where I learned how to uh, uh, converse and communicate with women on a more effective level. Mm -hmm. You see, but here's the thing: does it work for everyone? No. No. Right? It doesn't. It doesn't. Exactly. And the thing is that I'm just being real here. Like, if it works for your friend, it might not work for you. Therefore, yeah. the yeah, right. The, the first tier is always getting clear of who you are, what you can do, and what mm -hmm. are the problems that you're facing. It's, mm -hmm. it's just like going from point A to point B, right? Yep. Once you know your point A, like, like yeah, Rayson's smiling because it's so familiar to him, that's what he's doing right now, okay? Yeah, yeah, control yeah. the laughter. Okay. So, yeah, so, 
once you know where you're at, like point A, right? And when you want to get from here to there, there is a gap. Yes. Correct? Mm -hmm. How do you fill that gap? That is where you get clarity in terms of what kind of an action plan can I design to get from here to, you know, from point A to point B. Yep. Right? And once you've gotten that clarity, mm -hmm. what you want to do next is you want to um, learn all the skills that are needed in order for you to fill that gap. What do I mean by all the skills? You want to learn how to converse properly, you want to learn mm -hmm. about body language, you want to learn yep. about dressing, you want to learn um, what are the things that you have to say during a date, what are the things that you do and what are the things that you don't do and all of this yep, yep. is related to who you are. Yeah. It's related to the very first tier because the first tier is where you understand like this is who I am. Yep. Well, can you imagine if let's say you are on a date with a girl and then uh, when you are out with a girl and then you're, you're like look, taking one whole notepad and then you're like looking at it Okay, this is what I'm supposed to say. Okay, yeah. this is what I'm supposed to say. No, 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 this is not what we are teaching you. No, okay, no, 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 not, not that. But what we are saying is that uh, as much as we want you to know what to say, but sometimes you have to know what to say in certain occasions. Like for example, if exactly. let's, say, if right. let's say you're on with a party or, or, or with, with, a, with, with a girl, right? You don't tell, you don't tell the girls that, hey, I hate party, man. Mm. Uh, let's go, let's it's go. Negative. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's go back home or, or, uh, or let's go back and watch Netflix. No, 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 that's, that's not what, what... And chill. Yeah, yeah, and chill. Uh, okay, and that's, that's not what, it's supposed to, what you're supposed to do. And that's not what you're supposed to say. Mm. Right? Or, or you can't be like uh, saying that... Um, uh, for example, if, if let's say she shares something negative about her life and then she's crying and then you can't say, Ah, I... I um, you know, you, you, you should you should sound more empathetic rather than you saying that talking uh, laughing at her, her right? yeah, uh, talking yeah. down right. at her and you laugh <laughs> you, uh, you deserve it uh, yeah, you, know, like you, did, you deserve a slap man you say that <laughs> <laughs> yeah can you imagine that imagine if you were to say that wow that, that's that's horrible yeah, yeah. yeah so exactly. you have to look at the occasion right and that's yeah. that's why it's important to learn all of these things because people mm -hmm. think that dating comes uh, naturally now I have mm -hmm. a question for all of you guys you see like why do you go to school? Mm -hmm. You go to school to learn how to learn. Yep. Believe it or not, it's not about the grades, man. If you think it's about the grades, oh my god, you're living in the past. And I'll, I'll, I'm probably going to get uh, flagged for this, but I don't care. <laughs> okay, because... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let's face it, let's be real. You go yep. to school to learn how to learn. Yes. Right? Because the skills that you pick up in school, the long hours you put in in studying and the long hours that you, you know, mm -hmm. put in revising your work, you mm -hmm. know, listening to a teacher, all mm. of this can be applied at work because why at work you need to pull long hours in as well yep 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 right? i mean i mean like uh, when you when you are um, like learning mm. in school you don't just learn about mathematics you don't just learn about english chinese i mean these are primary things that you're going to learn these are the learn. basics that you yeah. need of course yes. in life but what you're going to learn after that in during a cca for example exactly. will be teamwork will be yeah, EQ as well. Yeah, sometimes people oh, oh Mira, Mira, yeah. hey, hey Mira, Mira yeah. Sometimes people get nervous and they forget EQ. I guess. Yes. Good job, guys. Thanks, Mira, for the thumbs up and for appreciate the love. It. We really appreciate it. And wow, yeah. I mean, like, uh, where were we? Like learning. Yeah, mm. it's it's important in life. Uh, but then again, if you're thinking about in school, you're learning about getting good grades mm. and competing so that you can go into the good school. Uh, good, good. Uh, wherever that, that you can say, you know, and, yeah. yeah. It's not so much about it because you look at all those successful people. Yeah. Uh, they do not have good grades, but I'm not highly encouraging people to have bad grades. Well, or average grades. I, I'm just saying that you must know about, like what we have just said about, we must know about your strengths. Your attitude towards your learning. Your attitude towards life, your attitude mm. towards learning, your attitude towards the girl that you're dating yes. is also, must be aligned. Correct. In a sense, yes. because if you are lazy bum and uh, and then in in front of in front of the girl, uh, you are so hardworking and yeah. everything, it doesn't show uh, authenticity, Correct. and then that's why so many marriages crash because mm. of that. They are so 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 authentic at home, but they are so unauthentic uh, outside. Outside. Yeah, so smiley faces. Yeah, so all the smiley faces yeah. are coming out. So that's why we. Highly encourage people to be uh, authentic. Correct. Correct. Not just inside here, but not just inside at home, outside in the room, but also outside. Not exactly. just in social media, you're like, Ura, man, you have so many followers and blah, 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 blah. And then the next moment, you are 
complaining about life, mm. you are so negative about people, Correct. about you know, walking about your talk. Stuff. Yeah, right? walk your talk. Yeah. Yes. In, be it your influencer that watch, that's watching right now, be it you're in Africa, I've seen someone who's uh, watching right now from Africa, mm. uh, Singapore, any part of the world. Yep. You are your own choice. You are the choice of yourself. Like yeah, the choices that you make. Yeah, right. you you have you have to actually uh, make a choice of your life right now. Yeah. Before like thinking, hey, I'm gonna meet this girl. I'm gonna date this girl. I'm gonna go Tinder. I'm gonna go Badu or whatever online dating. You no know Badu, huh? Oh wow. yeah, of course. I mean, Recent like the professional. Yeah. <laughs> oh, back then, back then. Okay. okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. I mean, it's 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 it's. More than that, yeah. yeah. It's more than just swiping left and right, you know. Correct. Yeah, it's more than that. It's, it, you have to know more about yourself first. Correct. And yeah, you see, that is why you gotta learn because mm-hmm. you know um, the point that I'm trying to make is that you go to school to learn how to learn. Yeah. And people think that dating comes naturally, but I disagree because you gotta learn how to yeah. date. In a sense. Yeah. In a sense. It, right. It doesn't just <laughs> you don't just inherit it from your mom and dad. You know. <laughs> Probably you've watched uh, Korean dramas, or probably you've watched television shows, or even mm-hmm. movies, and then you yep. pick things up from there. You're like, yeah. "Hey, they can do it that way. Let me try and replicate it." And when you replicate it, boom! It explodes in your face because you get rejected. Because all of that is made believe. Yes. What it, is the reality here? That, 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 that's like all what the media wants people to watch, Correct. so that they can have more ratings, more viewership. Yeah, and that's and like uh, yeah, they can earn more money, so that the the actors can have more pay as well. Ah, yeah, right? true. And yeah. it's 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 a fairy tale ending, but you know, I mean, sorry yeah. to burst your bubble, guys. Sometimes fairy tale endings they don't exist. Yes. Sometimes, unfortunately, you know, small percentages, yes, they do come true. I'm not saying that you don't lose all hope, and that's yeah. the reason why I'm here, okay, to provide that education for the nice guys, mm-hmm. so that they learned. Uh, so mm-hmm. they learn, so that they learn the art mm-hmm. of dating, and once they they have um, a proper education in mm-hmm. terms of learning how to date properly, right? Mm-hmm. They've got to learn how to the next step, next year is they got to learn how to package themselves because yep. you can't just uh, appear mm-hmm. uh, at a date looking very sloppy. Yeah, you can't be like appearing in a date like just wearing singlet and oh my god, no, uh, and yeah, shorts you and uh, uh, you know slippers and all. Yeah, yeah, it it, it it's not what you are supposed to do. Correct, correct. Yeah. You know, it's like, and I don't just mean, you know, dressing up like, you know, having a very nice shirt like recent year, oh, or, you know, just chilling <laughs> out with a t-shirt and, you know, yep. a pair of shades and stuff like that, and putting yeah, accessories. Yeah. None of that. It's more like uh, showcasing your attitude, your personality. So dressing according to yeah. who you are. Now that in itself is an art because if you mm-hmm. cannot portray who you are on the inside via your dressing, via your behavior, mm-hmm. you see, it doesn't sell a very compelling image for the person you're out with and yeah. you know they're gonna have I like, try to figure out like who is this guy who am I going out with well, why does he look like a clown but then suddenly on social media he's so serious yeah because true, people true. can do a quick search on who you are and yeah. see if that image contradicts it sends a very negative message because the girl will know that she's going out with someone who's unsure of himself yeah and nobody wants to be with somebody who's uncertain of themselves because yeah. you know that is just emotionally very draining right mm-hmm. And uh, basically, once you learn how to package yourself, the last tier is you gotta learn where to locate this girl. Because the reason why a lot of nice guys get into the friend zone is because they go to the wrong places to meet their Uh ideal girl. They think that by following their friends, they will get the same results as their friends. But I'm Uh here to tell you guys that your friends are your friends, you are not your friends. Yep, it, it, it's not like uh, you just go to the club, get a girlfriend and she'll be with you forever and ever and ever. No, it's not. It's because, tough. because I mean like, um, club is good to socialize and all, but it depends on what type of girls go there. Some girls go um, there just for fun. Yeah. Some girls go there because they just had a breakup and then their good friends, their girlfriends felt that, hey, you know what? You need to chill a bit. You haven't been out uh, for the rest of your life. I'm not sure how many years or how many months. Mm. But and then they, they just brought brought bring Venus to go along and just nice. Hey, you found her and and then she saw you. Uh, she wasn't really interested. But then you know things click and then after that you guys get married. Blah 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 blah. And that's yep. where problems happen. Yep. Sometimes. Uh, sometimes. Not yeah. all. Not all relationships go haywire because mm. of that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so yeah, and yeah, I mean, Mira is saying that, yep, true, learning to communicate effectively and properly, understanding someone else is an important skill. Yeah, indeed, indeed, Very it's good not, point. Just, not just uh, in dating, I mean, in 
friendship and uh, even relationship with your parents as well uh, you need to know how to communicate with them as well I mean as much as we have been through the rebellious age as well mm. um, it is necessary to learn how to communicate with our parents yeah. uh, even uh, our siblings and etc because we need them as much as they need us mm. right that's true so yeah. yeah so I mean yeah relationship is uh, it's, it's complicated at times but as long as you know how to make it work and you two are willing to make use both hands to clap together yes. so it's teamwork correct yep then this relationship will last even longer correct right correct. yeah yeah so so just to uh, just to double confirm with you yes the first tier what is that again first tier is for you to gain clarity clarity all okay. right you have to gain clarity over yourself so uh -huh. basically it's all about how you get from where you are mm -hmm. to where you want to be okay once you have that clarity you can move quicker and faster okay and then what is the second tier? second tier you got to Educate yourself. For educate lack of yourself. A, for lack of a better word, you gotta get proper education on dating, not just okay. advice from any random uncle or auntie. Okay, although uh, uh, with yeah. all due respect, they have more experience. But here's the thing: they are not you. Yep, they okay. they will give you advice based on what they, they want you yes. to hear, Correct. and not based on what you are experiencing right now. Exactly. Yeah, and 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 um. I, I believe uh, it's not just uh, by googling and uh, going on YouTube you mm. get all the answers. Yeah, uh, you sometimes some people really do need a coach or yes. a mentor in relationship. As much as we are Asian, we felt we will feel that hey, we do not need coaches, we do not need mentors. We just have our here listen to our parents or we just listen to our best friend or good friend, whatever friend that you have that is with you during that journey mm. uh, will be good enough. I'm so sorry to say uh, that is not 100% mm. what is uh, what is being advised here so, as well. Not not so much as we want, not so much as we you know uh, want you to sign up with him, but because we know what wow, is that's so subtle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Not, not so much as we you know want you to to, to get a coach mm. that, that is as good as well here. Oh, thank but, you very much. But we want you to really understand the art of dating as well mm. many people know about the art of seduction but not many people know about the art of dating and the art of maintaining the relationship yeah right i agree yeah so yeah i mean people will will, will question us like hey you guys are not married yet and you guys haven't been through what we've been yeah, through yeah, yeah. Blah, blah 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 um but one thing is what we've been through is totally equally unique as yours mm. yeah so we, we can't compare and contrast hey this coach has much more experience than you uh, the other one doesn't have much so it's okay you yeah. you, you know all, all those kind of stuff uh, it's it's not so much about that it's more about um, the value that we want to add into your life as well yeah okay into your life as well. that's right so yeah and yeah, what, what's the third tier? The third tier is your appearance, how you package yourself all mm -hmm. together. So this is an overall thing whereby you not only have to dress the part, but you have to mm -hmm. act the part. So okay. you have to act, um, I wouldn't say act as if, but act according to who you are on the inside. Yep. A lot of yep. people always uh, mistake this, you see. So when you act according to who you are on the inside, you get to bring that inner voice, that inner mm -hmm. superhero out. This mm -hmm. is the best time to do it. And then, uh, what is the last year? The last year is to go to the right places to find the ideal girl. Don't um, follow whatever anyone else out there has been telling you, okay? Yep, yep, yep. Um, lots of nice guys, have, um, some of my clients, they, they're frustrated because they go for events, they go for matchmaking services, they even try online dating, and none of, none of it works for them. Yeah. And the reason... Oh, you got your friend there. Okay, oh, yeah. The, uh, uh -huh. what, uh, the reason why it doesn't work for them is because uh, they're doing something that it's not in line with them. Uh -huh. You see, it, it, it's awkward for them and they're forcing yep. themselves to do it and when that happens, right, you just shot yourself in the foot. You just yeah. kind of sabotage yourself. So basically, what I'm saying is that you need to find the right places, okay, and there is a way to find the right places based on steps one, two, and three. Okay. So and all the steps, all the tiers kind of work together to give you this whole holistic approach in terms of placing yourself in the right position, you know, mm -hmm. how what you should say, what you should do so that you can get the date that you want. Yep. Sorry, excuse me, and you can be with the girl that you want. Uh -huh. um, people want it fast and quick. This yep. generation wants it uh, effective, efficient, yep. fast, yep. right? Yep. Yep. This is a proven step-by-step -step system that is the fastest so far. 
nice. Yeah, okay. I've, I've used it for the past eight years for all my clients, and you know, okay. one of them, in fact, is um, uh, already gonna get engaged. Oh, nice. <laughs> No, no, I mean, sorry, job, he, he really job, got engaged. Uh, it's just that now he's planning the wedding day. So, oh. you know, that's um, that brought a smile to my face because uh, he's been with me for the longest time and I saw his mm -hmm. growth and really, like, you know, he went from a nice guy who is clueless, completely mm -hmm. clueless, afraid of rejection and, you know, he didn't know how to connect uh, on a deeper level with women. But mm -hmm. now he's a guy who has found that girl who he can connect with and really just be himself. Mm -hmm. and I'm really happy for him. Yeah, and, and uh, to add on on that is that you can find girls anywhere. Mm. There are more girls than guys. Un ironically, it sounds. Are they? There are, there are, there are so many girls okay. in Singapore than guys. Mm. Okay, statistics has already proven. And also, you can you can find girls anywhere, offline or online. Offline mm. can be your workplace, cafeteria, um, cafes, libraries. Clubs, even oh, okay, yeah. Okay, fair enough. That's yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, like you can find them so many, so many of them mm. around, right? And some even you can even find um, girls uh, in other countries as well. Uh, maybe when you're going traveling, backpacking, and stuff like that, and you find one yep. girl that's very interesting, and she find you interesting, and you guys connected well. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's so many of them. It doesn't mean he has to be Singaporean, or it doesn't mean have to be Southeast Asian kind of stuff. Yep. Uh, um, <laughs> Larry, Larry is very funny. Okay, and wow. no problem, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just, um, just to let you know, I accept commission. Yeah. So when I put yeah, you yeah. up, if anything is successful, Larry, you and I have a chat. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We will advertise you. All right. We no will gonna advise, advertise you, Larry. Uh, Sexy uh, bald man. Yeah, he said he, he. Okay, Larry, our dear friend said. If Me, they sure. want a sexy bald man, you know where to refer them. Well, Larry okay. Yup is a. Uh, a fine looking sexy ball sexy man. ball man <laughs> uh, yeah and and he can be arranged yeah i can arrange we can arrange a yeah, marriage for him as uh, well we can go to the vietnam embassy uh vietnam which, marriage center you gotta let him. which uh, country you're into bro <laughs> then from oh, yeah, there yeah. we'll set things up for oh, you. russian russia okay. russian yeah, yeah, girls so, 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 are very in uh, thing nowadays, nowadays. Yeah, yeah yeah he's probably laughing off his chair right now and thinking <laughs> what, what the hell is wrong with these two idiots yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah i know right okay so yeah i mean well thanks man thanks for these four uh, things, tips, and also all the other advices that you have given to our dear audience. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So, wow, wow, it's it's amazing. So, okay, um, one last question. Sure. If today is your last day on earth, okay, okay. all right, what would you want to share with the audience that's watching right now? If today was my last day or their last day? Your last day. My last day. The advice that I want to give them. Yep. Two words. Take action. Take action. That's okay. It. You guys plan. heard that? Take action. So, down under at the description, you mm. get to see the links. Okay. The links that's uh, for both of us. Okay. Yep. So, uh, how how can they how can the audience connect to, uh, to you? Okay. Uh, first up, they can find you on Facebook. The link <coughs> links of course at the bottom. Now. Uh, I do have a website which is under construction right now, so okay. don't worry, the link will be up on Facebook as well. So as long okay. as you find me on Facebook, everything will be there. Okay? So uh, what's your Facebook uh, name or the ah, link? It's fa facebook.com slash The Finest Man. The Finest Man, okay. okay. Uh, then how about groups wise? Yeah, I, I have an online private community as well, you mm -hmm. know, for all the nice guys who mm -hmm. want a bit of privacy, but still, you know, you, you have uh, problems that you want to talk about. Yeah. There's an online community, mm. right? it's called Collective of TFM, it's also at the bottom there. Okay. Right, same thing. And uh, if you want to reach out personally to me, drop me an email at info at the finest man .com. Okay. The link is also at the bottom. Nice, 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 nice. And uh, there's one more thing that's going to be happening in the next two weeks, in fact. Two weeks? Yeah, on the okay. 29th of July, I'll be having another one of my ever popular live workshops. Whoa. So, you know, all of you guys who've been watching, if you found this very useful, please do come down for the workshop because. Uh, mm -hmm. In the workshop, I'm gonna demonstrate. I'm gonna show you exactly a step, a proven step-by-step -step system that's gonna get you the girl that you've always wanted in just 30 days. Okay, I know wow, it's yeah, it's a, it's nice, a tall nice, order, nice. but hey, I've done it before. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay, I've done it and, before. And, and and if you guys feel that not just you have some issues in your relationship or dating life, you have friends, family members. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can refer them to Val as well. Bring them down. Much appreciated. Bring the whole family down. Yeah, yeah, bring the whole family down. Uh, guys only. <laughs> nah, uh, just yeah, kidding, okay. just kidding. Okay, so... No, but really, yeah. guys yeah. only. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, 
and also at the same time for those who are watching right now uh, you guys will have a privilege from both of us okay and that is uh, a, a discount ah yes yeah by right there's no discount okay so once you uh, you connect with uh, Val just type in Ragacy R-A-Y-G-A-C-Y you get a uh, 10 to 15 percent discount yeah uh, from him personally and also at the same time I'm sure you're gonna learn a lot of stuff from him mm -hmm. okay and you're gonna benefit okay? it's gonna be valuable it is also the price is also very affordable as well don't have to think so much about it as well remember yeah. take action <laughs> yeah because once you watch this and you learn from him and also at the same time his last words before he died is take action yeah, right? That's right so yeah so you have to take action as well mm. all right and well it's coming to the end already and i know right <laughs> no. and for everyone who are watching right now okay um for those who are watching right now you can also follow me on this uh, website www.ragacy.com regacy.com uh, you can follow me on instagram regacy uh, follow my facebook page as well and yeah uh, so yeah oh come on don't be sad Larry I'm sure you <laughs> wanted us off this camera yeah I know sad. right yeah <coughs> so yeah and yeah thanks a lot so I would like to thank all those people that's watching right now okay this is what I normally do okay yeah. so I would like to thank Larry for watching it okay Larry, uh, Arnold, Arnold. Uh, Ilya uh -huh. hey uh, long time no see as well hope, hope you're doing well as well sure. thank you very much uh, Aaron Ao, Colin Lee, Mira Mira ah, is, yeah, is, yeah, 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 is the uh, yeah, entrepreneur who's going to be featured here as well cool. Nini, uh, David King uh, thank you very much Si Ting, thank you Charles Thank you, Hidayah Selva. Uh, Ronnie Kabawama is from Africa. Oh, cool. Uh -huh, yes. Nice. And then uh, Maisara Gino Chan is from Myanmar. Okay. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Tay Wei Yan, Andrew Chua is our good friend. Thank you for watching as well. Tao Mian, Zali Wahab, Rana Dewi, Naaman Weeds, Jason Low. Eugene Kuang, thank you very much. Sami Go, Sharika, Quack Wei Fen, We Mean Ted uh, from Myanmar as well. Oh, He's okay. my uh, friend, poly friend, uh, advanced diploma friend, uh, colleague as well. Ong Jin, thank yeah. you. Ricky Ong, Jin Xia. Jin Xia is the popular guy that's with, um, he's together with Yi Shun Jian. He's, a, Jin, he's yeah, a mentee yeah. of Yi Shun Jian or a partner with Yi Shun Jian as well. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Wahang, Roger Raji, uh, thank you. Get Jemma as well, thank you. Levine, hey, Levine. Ben, uh, Mabel Chia, my girlfriend is watching. Uh -huh. Thank you. George Kenny, Cheryl uh -huh. T, uh, Colleen Xiao. Colleen Xiao is one of the top trader in Singapore as well. Thank you very much for watching. I'm John humble. Elvis, wow. thank you for watching. Uh, Tan Lai Po. Uh, Elhena Moon da, uh, Moon da Rewal. He is yeah, uh, he is uh, the uh, fitness trainer of Andy Harrington. Oh, Andy wow. Harrington yeah, is the yeah, UK yeah. Uh, best, one of the best speakers around. Thank you very much for watching as well. Oh, Syed Jailani, uh, my partner in crime for speaking engagements. Yeah. Uh, thank you very yeah, much for me, watching. Uh, MJ, thank you. Peter Yong Yi. Uh, Shinarom, okay, if Shinarom. I pronounce it correctly, Shinarom, yeah. Jamal, my colleague as well, Albert, Albert Liu, Nuru Adiana, Larry Yap, yeah, okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Winnie Bell, <laughs> Angeline Go, Malu Santiago, Frankie Liao, Diane Joy, Mio Ang from uh, this um, Myanmar as well, yeah. my colleague as well, thank you, uh, Muhammad uh, Aminuddin, thank yeah. you, Ricky Lau, thank you for Ricky watching Lau, yeah. as well, and last but not least, Maslinda, my teacher is watching as well, and uh, Larry, thank you very much for your comments. Uh, we yeah. really appreciate it. Been thanks a for very sharing, guys. Fun yep, thanks. Larry. Yeah. So Sexy thank you very bonnet. much. So thanks, everyone, guys. have a great Tuesday night ahead. All right. Tuesday, and, yeah. Tuesday yeah, evening. Right. Yeah. Okay. So enjoy your dinner with your spouse, your date, and please don't screw up your date anymore. Remember, take action. Yep. Take action. If you if you really gonna screw up, just uh, look for him. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stand by my phone right now. Yep, alright, so thank you.